guys and welcome back so today we're doing a little garden tour um i just transplanted my uh some of my cauliflower and sprouting broccoli and then um most of my brussels sprouts and then i also did a celery um i still have more that needs to be brought but i only grabbed one flat because like behind me it's not really coming up it's about to like torrential downpour but this side blue skies um so i'm trying to get as much work in as possible but i wanted to show you um kind of what i have set up right now and then i also have my peas and carrots i'm gonna go ahead and get them in the raised bed um to let them start doing their thing uh it's pretty perfect conditions and if it does rain these are partially um protected there's some tree cover it gets um about six hours of sun here six to eight but there are trees so um even if it does rain it'll just be like a nice rain on them it won't um flood them or anything that's actually something i love to do anytime i'm planting um I like to do it right before it rains because then I don't have to water um, and it just saves a step. But I want to point out the teepee my son and I made. Now we didn't get to finish it because um, we had to go get my daughters from school. But we got most of it done and that's actually going to be what I put uh, most of my runner beans on this year. So I have a ton, uh, five or six different types of runner beans and I am so excited to um, grow them and more importantly cook with them uh, they all have great reviews so that's going to be one of the things that I utilize for that I've always wanted one and now I have one um, but no more talking let me show you what I have going on okay let's focus so right here this is what I had put my garlic in last year and then if you remember it got eaten um so i dug out pretty much all of the soil and put it into these pots and i am using it as a um container i mean it's broke but so are these and so they're just going to kind of hold everything together but this is my brussels sprout forest so um this is a mixture of long island and then catskill and gustus um Brussels sprouts so this is where they're gonna be they get a little more Sun than everything else on this side so um, I think they'll be great and then this way I can control the water I can control um, I, don't, I can control everything and it was easier to put them in pots than it was to find ground to put them in so that's why they're like that and it utilizes stuff that I would normally just throw away um, these were my, um, uh, it's an edible flower that you can use for teas. This is what the two pots had in it last year, and it's a perennial. And so this year, I have this growing, and I have this growing, and I can tell they're growing from the stalks. I just don't remember them being that color. So I could be babying a weed for all I know right now. Uh, last year was my first time growing it and it didn't flower or anything so this may be something and this may be something or it could be a weed so we will find out um and then there's my carrots hey bud carrots and peas and then this is what the carrots and peas are going to go in i'm going to put a trellis uh right in the middle um and then maybe one on the end and then I'm just gonna have carrots going throughout uh, they're good companions and then here I have three cabbages and then um, cauliflower and then this is a lettuce from last year that's self-seeded so that's growing I left it there and then I put this over top because we have a lot of animals we're right by the woods um, so this just protects stuff from getting eaten. Also, we have a lot of it that we need to use. And then here I have um, two more cabbages 
and then we have my sprouting broccoli, a purple cauliflower, another sprouting broccoli, and then the rest of this is going to be sprouting broccoli or cauliflower, and then this is a little uh, celery that I'm trying to grow, and then I have a couple more celery plants that I'm going to put right here, and then this is also going to get a top like that just to protect it, um, and all that is is chicken wire that I just draped over. Uh, nothing special, but it gets the job done. Um, okay, so I just planted my carrots. So I ended up doing, um, this is going to be the trellis. Uh, this is where I'm going to have the trellis. So I still have to wrap it, but I'm all about reusing. So this is going to be the trellis, and I planted uh, pea seeds on both sides. And I do it kind of dense because... Peas, I found, do not care if they're crowded. They're still going to grow. Um, and this is a really deep bed, so they're going to have plenty of room. Um, and then all this is carrots. Um, now, the way that I did the carrots is I have rows of the different colors. I have um, yellow, white, red, orange, tiny, purple, and black. Um, so no orange. they're all right here um some high intensity and i they're supposed to be a quarter inch depth i more or less surface sew and then just kind of press them in and put um, a sprinkling of soil on top and then you want it to be nice damp soil which is what this is so last year they grew great but if you remember um my daughters plucked all of them up uh prematurely so I didn't actually get a harvest last year, but they were growing absolutely beautifully. So I have no doubt that they will do great um, this year. So I hope you enjoyed coming and gardening with me today. I plan on doing a lot more of these, although I'll bring my tripod next time. Um, I forgot it before I came down here, so um, I didn't really have a place to put you because it was wet up there, and I didn't want to ruin my camera, but... Can hear the fresh spring it is so peaceful here uh, but i am getting my eggs and then we're gonna head home and make some dinner wash up um but yeah i'm glad i got to bring you along today and i hope to see you for my next video thanks for watching